W. Knoll, thank you very, very much for your request, your question regarding my support. I am not a very good fundi, that is Swahili word for handyman, but here are the numbers of the gauge that I use. I guess number 16 is the one I always go for because I can use it with my hands and only need the pliers on occasions. And then I guess these numbers are also relevant. You've got the grams and how many meters I have in this coil. I hope that these numbers help to help you make a decision as to which size wire you can use in your part of the world. I like to have a wire that is coated white, not just because it looks nice, but it's also very forgiving on the hands when working with it. It also does not rust in the pot for this self-watering or semi-hydro setup. So let's go. Got to fandangle some of the wire out of these rings and we'll make ourselves a support for a 15 centimeter pot. So how I gauge how much I need to cut off, after a while it becomes sort of second nature, but basically I take the pot, the inner pot, and I put my wire in. I calculate maybe a little circle length, and then I put my orchid in, basically checking its height and where I want to tie her. Usually I go around the middle of the orchid, so I know my length of the stake that I need, plus the little circle at the base, and then raise it up a little bit more because to accommodate for the circle and a little bit for the hook that comes in at the end so that I don't stab my eyes out. So pretty much that would be the length of wire that I would want to cut off and work with. First of all, I'm pedantic. I need me some straightening here. Even though I will bend it afterwards, I like my wires to be somewhat straight. But as is, this is going to be in the pot, I take the wire and I curl it with my hands to make myself a support, like little ledge for the bottom of the pot, like so. That's all I need. And then I kink it in one side up to create the stem of the support that comes out of the pot. I'll give it a bit more of a straightening touch, like so. And you see it's actually already finished. And then, if, as in this case, I have cut it a little bit too short, I can always raise it up and put it on top of Lekka to get the desired height that I want, and I don't have to waste this length of wire simply because I miscalculated and try it with another one. So let me show you. In this case, for example, I can use the support for my orchid that I was using because I don't have to worry about the height of the orchid. I'm just trying to secure her to the pot. But let's just say this was a little bit too short and we want to manipulate it and still use it. In that case, after, after the microfiber, etc., had gone in, we're ready to pot up. We can put the lower part of the leka already, the base in, then put our support in. And now we have a much higher support and we don't have to start from scratch. Let's say the orchid is already in the position that we want her. And then we can just fill up with leka as you can see, the support is now taller, higher, sticking out of the pot nicely. Our orchid would be in there. And then I kink back this tip right here because some supports can be quite long. And then there's a klutz walking around with the orchids and bends over to take a sniff of a beautiful bloom and pokes her eye out. Points me. <laughs> So this support is something that you could then put when the orchid has a clear direction of growth and it fits snug against the side of the pot. Comme ça. Right? Fits snug against the pot. But now what happens if you want to support an orchid that has several directions of growth, but it's coming and you're having it potted up into the middle? Let's do that option as well. The wire will have to be a little bit longer than previously. 
And we'll do the same thing again. The loop at the base can be as big or as small as long as it fits into the base of the pot. We'll just make a little curve. Make our kink to go up. And then once more, straighten the wire out so that it stands proud and upright. All right, so here we have another version that we did before and it fits right up snug against the pot. But we want it to go and come out straight through the middle of the pot. We avoid the kink that's right here, but we bend it towards the circle, completing the circle like that. And then we take it at a base and kink it up again. And then we can bend it in further there we go. And now we have ourselves a support that comes out right from the center of the pot. So the same circle as before. We make ourselves a circle. Then we kink it into the circle. And from there, we kink it up at a 90 degree angle. and it's a center support. And don't forget the top again. <laughs> Might as well do that straight away. All the distractions that can happen while we repot. <laughs> Get that step out of the way for safety purposes. <laughs> so here are two versions. One is up against the pot and one is center of the pot. SV Knoll, I hope that this was helpful. Thank you for your question. Let me know if anything wasn't clear enough. I'll be happy to clarify. Have yourself a wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye.